one of my favorite haunts in the whole metro, and that is Grounds for Celebration in Beaverdale. And with me is Don Collins, who is the secretary of the West Side Des Moines Chamber of Commerce. Nice to see you. It's good to have you with us. Thank you, Mike. You know, Beaverdale uh, is the definition of a neighborhood. And I didn't realize that there are 10,000 people who call Beaverdale home. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, this is a, a true neighborhood feeling when you're in Beaverdale. And uh, these winding streets and the old picturesque brick, uh, Beaverdale bricks that they're famous for, give it that character and charm that, you know, you just can't find in the western suburbs or the eastern suburbs for that matter. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me about Beaverdale now. What is, uh, what's going on? Because I know there's always an activity of some kind happening in Beaverdale. Talk about some of the things that people get into when they live in Beaverdale. Sure, thank you for asking, Mike. I love walking my dogs and seeing all the people being active in our community. People ride bikes year round. We have wonderful bike lanes and walking lanes. Um, we just finished up the Christmas lights on Ashby and right. it's a beautiful. Oh, yeah. People come from all over Iowa to look at our Christmas displays. I'm sure of it. Well, you know, 10 minutes to downtown Des Moines, five minutes to Drake, easy to the west side. Um, and again, it's, it's, there's so many Iowans who have transplanted to Des Moines from small towns, and this gives you that same small town feeling in Beaverdale. Absolutely. I relocated here from Oskaloosa. That's, that's part of the draw. Right, I, I it, think is. it is. Yeah. I have my small town right in the middle of Des Moines, and I just love living in Beaverdale. The friendly merchants, you know, the, uh, that small town feeling right through the, uh, through the uh, business community. And the overall ambience, I think, is, is, is what people like about it. Three or four beautiful parks. Mm -hmm. Ashby is one of my favorites, um, but Whitmere is gorgeous and it has gotten some new, um, a new look to it. Yep. And there's a wonderful splash pad now at Tower Park and lots of green space for my dogs to run around to. And again, the Easter egg hunt and farmer's market mm -hmm. and uh, activities all the time and, and I know the uh, uh, Beaverdale Fall Festival is a big deal and the parade is going to be back on this year, right? I am looking forward yeah. to that parade. I have missed having my float. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. always fun. It really is. So much community pride. It just You can just feel it when you're in Beaverdale. Yeah. Um, 143 blocks. I was a little surprised at the northern boundary of Beaverdale being Meredith Drive. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, it goes farther north than you think from Forest all the way to Meredith Drive. Right, it does. And then I think the uh, east-west is something like 30th to 50th or something like yes. that. Yeah. Uh, all kinds of neighborhood associations and uh, they really support their community. Yes, and the neighborhood association is very active um, and we really work together as a chamber with the neighborhood associations in planning events and collaborating on beautification as well. I have so many uh, merchants who've been here for many, many years. My favorite bookstore, you know, yes. Riverdale Books. And a new addition recently, the new Fairway uh, shop. I love the new Fairway. I can just walk to the grocery store. Um, it's perfect. So if you've just joined us, we're talking about uh, Beaverdale today, putting the spotlight on this community. And uh, Don Collins is our secretary over at the West Side Chamber. And uh, it's easy to brag and, and, you know, put the spotlight on Beaverdale. Because it it's really just a, is. It's a super place. And I'm here at least twice a month here for my mocha at, and skim milk. Skim milk cancels out the uh, whipped cream. That's how I do it. Absolutely so. it does. Perfect. Thanks for being with me. <laughs> Thank you.